Here's how to make up to $250 a day using mid-journey. I have yet to see a video talking about this business method. This isn't just some idea I thought sounded cool, it's a business I actually run day to day, which led me to quitting my 9 to 5 job 5 years ago. Now with the help of AI, it has not only made me more money, but has made it 10 times faster to create dope artwork. I have worked with over 4,000 artists all over the world and also worked with 80 plus celebs, so I have a lot of experience in this field. My mission is to help you guys and girls be able to quit your 9 to 5 jobs so you can be your own boss and work from home. So let me explain why you should choose this business model. Every single day there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of songs uploaded to music platforms a day. This is a perfect business because you will never run out of clients and there is plenty of room for you to get a piece of the pie. Trust me, artists are always looking for someone new to make them some dope artwork for their latest single. Back in the day, you would have to learn Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator and spend hours working on each cover design. But now we have software like Midjourney to help us not only make amazing covers but create them in just a few seconds. You can also get the chance to work with some big names which is always cool. I've managed to connect with tons of verified artists over the years and built some great connections. So let me show you how easy it is to make some cool designs using Midjourney. So first thing you want to do is create an account with Midjourney. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to do that, so I won't waste time in this video showing you. Quick disclaimer, Midjourney was originally free to use, but they recently made everyone have to pay due to high demand. But do not be discouraged, it's only a small fee and you can make unlimited designs and you also get full commercial rights, which means the designs belong entirely to you. I am currently using the standard plan, which is $30, but you guys can start out with the basic plan, which is only $10 a month. Once you have signed up and made your account, it's time to have some fun designing your covers. Now if you have used Midjourney before, you will already know about prompts. But for those of you who don't, I will show you how to use them. So prompts are basically commands you give to Midjourney on what you want created. I will show you some examples of some prompt commands you can put in. First you want to make sure you are on Midjourney. Go to the text box and type in forward slash imagine. Then you want to type in what you want created. Now sometimes Midjourney will create something very close to what you asked for right away, but in other cases you may have to try a couple times or even tweaking your prompt. So when it comes to creating artwork for clients, you're going to want to focus on concept covers and not character covers. What I mean by this is you don't want to do covers with the client's face because Midjourney isn't too great at copying actual people's faces yet. So you want to focus on images that relate to the song or title instead. So let me show you an example of a prompt. Let's say a client hits you up and asks for a cover and the song is about his homie passing away. So we could maybe come up with a prompt like this, forward slash imagine, then I could type in something like red tombstone surrounded by skulls with a crow sitting on it, night sky, and then add commands such as Ultra realistic 8K, which make the design high quality. Let's see how this looks. Not bad, not bad, but let's say you wasn't too happy with this design. So let's try another one. So the best thing you want to do is keep playing around with different prompts. Have fun with it. Take time coming up with cool concepts. Okay, let's see how this one turned out. Okay, I dig it. It's pretty dope to be honest. I like the fourth one the best. Once you've chosen the design you like, click on either U1, U2, U3, or U4. And then to upscale your image, you want to right click and save to your computer. So you get the idea it's as easy as that to create dope designs. I don't want to spend too much time showing you examples. So play around with ideas and different concepts. Okay, so our next step is to add text onto your cover art. Midjourney only creates the main image design, but we want to use software like Photoshop or Canva to add the artist name and song title. So I like to use Photoshop to add the artist name and song title. So I will quickly show you that. And then after I'll show you how to use Canva, which is free to use. So I will use the artwork I just created in Midjourney and upload it to Photoshop. And then the first thing I want to do is make sure it's set to 3000 by 3000, which is perfect size for covers. I then want to go ahead and add the song title to the cover. 
So uh, let's just say the song is called Gone But Not Forgotten. So I will click the text icon and create the text over the cover art. Then I will type the title in the text box, but I want to add a cool curve effect so the text fits around the moon. So I will come up here, click this button, and then choose arch, make a slight adjustment, and boom, there we go. Obviously, I am showing you this quickly, but you can spend more time playing around with fonts and the size. Next thing we want to do is add the artist name. So same thing, add text to the cover, and we'll call the artist Trayvon. I am going to center the text and then add a parental advisory sign to this also. And there you have it, a dope cover art made within a short space of time. Next, I will show you how to use Canva for those of you who don't have Photoshop. So let's get over to Canva website. Quickly make an account. I have one already, so I don't need to. So first thing to do is click up here where it says create design, then come down to here and click custom size. Once again, add 3000 by 3000 and click create new design. So just like we did with Photoshop, drag your cover art into Canva. Then come over here to the text icon and click. Canva has a ton of cool fonts and font designs. So choose whatever one you like most and click to add to your cover art. Another quick disclaimer to get access to all of Canva's dope fonts and to also download images 3000 by 3000 you will need a Canva Pro account. You can get a Canva Pro account free for 30 days. Just make sure to cancel before the 30 days are up. Okay, now let's continue. So I am going to add my song title and change the color to blue to match my cover. Then I will adjust the font a little and center it. And then I will add in the artist name, just like we did earlier on Photoshop. Perfect. So once again, this is a quick example just showing you how easy it is to add text to your covers. Obviously spend more time finding a dope font to match the vibe of your cover. Now it's time for me to show you how to get clients and make up to $250 a day. So first things first, I will show you my Instagram page which is called Music Advice Academy. This Instagram page makes me money every single day. I do not pay for ads. Clients literally come to me either by search or word of mouth. Of course, I would make a lot more money if I did paid ads, but over the past five years, I haven't needed to. This just shows the power of social media and free marketing. So I'm going to show you my business method on Instagram, but for you guys to get a kickstart with marketing, I would advise you to use Fiverr.com. I'm sure most of you know what Fiverr is. It's a website for freelancers. Fiverr is good because people search for designers every day. And you can also be found on the home page. So it's a great way to get your first few clients. But I would say to make an Instagram account as well. The more places you can be on the better chance of getting clients. So once you've made your Instagram account, make sure to set out your bio description properly. So write things like cover art, mixtape covers, and then put message to order, etc. And what you want to do is upload at least three covers a day. One in the morning, afternoon, and nighttime. Make sure to add relatable hashtags. Then what I would do is contact artists on Instagram and send them a message saying, I will make you a free cover if you can give me a shout out. That way you will grow a lot faster and they may also become a long term client because you gave them free work or offer them a deal. You got to understand you don't have followers and are new, so it may take a few tries to get clients on Instagram at first. But because you're just starting out, I would most definitely use Fiverr to get some clients and start getting paid. Click the link in my description to sign up to Fiverr. Once again, I won't show you how to sign up to Fiverr as there are plenty of videos online to show you how. Upload your covers and design on both Fiverr.com and Instagram and reach out to artists also. Like I said, I make money every day. I do also make lyric videos, which are very popular, but that's a video for another day. If you have any questions, drop me a message on Instagram or comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe.